There are three primary windows in Kaleidoscope Pro, the control panel, the viewer, and the results window. This quick tip is specific to the results window when Kaleidoscope Pro is in bat analysis mode. When Kaleidoscope Pro does an auto ID batch process, the viewer window and results window open automatically at the completion of the batch. The results window is synchronized with the viewer, so changing the currently selected file from one window will update the other. The results window lists each recording from the batch process along with metadata including some of the auto ID analysis measurements. But not all of the data found in the auto ID batch process is currently displayed. What we see here is the default column display. For example, the out file FS and out file ZC columns are displayed, but since I didn't select the options to create wave or zero crossing files on output, these columns are empty. I'm also interested in seeing the characteristic frequency for each file, but that's not displayed. So I'll go to the file menu and choose edit columns. With this window, I can hide columns such as the out file wave and ZC. I can show columns such as FC, which is characteristic frequency, and I can reorder columns with the move up and move down buttons. If I customize the column display, Kaleidoscope Pro will remember my custom settings and will use those settings in the next batch process. Here's a quick tip. When you do a batch process in Kaleidoscope Pro, any custom settings for the results window are saved in the settings INI file, which is also created by the batch process. So you could do multiple batch processes with different results window configurations, and the settings INI file from each batch could be used later as a template for a different results window setup. If I click on the top of a column, I will reorder the recordings based on the values in the column. If I click again, I reverse the sort order. I've sorted the recordings by characteristic frequency from high to low. Now I'll click on the auto ID column and click again to reverse that order. Now the results window lists the recordings by auto ID species and within each species category, the recordings are then sorted by characteristic frequency. Since I've done an auto ID batch process, I may want to add some manual IDs. From the viewer window, I'll create a custom ID and press the return key. You can see my custom label has been added to the manual ID column in the results window. Other functions we can do in the results window include doing a bulk copy of all the auto IDs to the manual ID column, Bulk ID of selected rows allows me to add my manual label to selected recordings. Bulk ID matching auto ID allows me to select a single recording, and then when I add my manual label, it will be copied to all the recordings with matching auto ID labels. If I want to make new copies of specific files, I select the files I like and choose Copy Selected Files. I can now choose a location to which I can paste those new files. The last three file menu selections have to do with saving as, saving, or changing the location of the underlying ID CSV file. Let's take a look at that. Since I've just modified the results of the auto ID batch process with manual IDs, I want to save those results. If I forget to save and try to close the results window, I'll get a message saying that if I don't save, I'll lose the editing work I've just done. So I'll cancel that message and choose Save from the File menu. Now I can close the results window with no error message. In the Outputs directory, I see the ID CSV file. This was created by the Auto ID batch process, and we've just been looking at the contents of this file in the results window. I also see the meta.csv file and the ID summary.csv file. The meta.csv file lists the original input files and can be opened in the results window. The ID summary CSV file cannot be opened in the results window, but can be opened in a spreadsheet application. CSV is a common file format, so if I double click on the ID CSV file, that will cause my spreadsheet application to open. The spreadsheet application displays all the columns created in the auto ID batch process. And if I scroll over, I see the manual IDs I've added. 
When I chose Save from the Results Window File menu, that updated this ID.csv file. If I want to reopen the results window from my Auto ID batch process, I'll go to the File menu in the Control Panel and choose Open Results. And there we go. So the results window is used to list and sort the original Auto ID results, and the results window is also used to add manual ID notes to the underlying ID CSV file. Thank you for watching.